right, jump stars, we're gonna start with some dynamic stretches. So we're gonna get our arms moving. Nice big circles. And go fast, go as fast as you can. And go as slow as you can. Nice job, and let's take it backwards. Nice big relaxed circles backwards. Stretch out those shoulder muscles. And go faster, and faster, and faster, and slow it down. Nice job. And let's bring an arm across. Say hi to a family member. And bring your other arm across. Say hi to whoever's on the other side of you. And let's reach both hands up really, 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 really tall. And all the way down to your toes. Nice deep stretch here. And come up, take one hand, grab your ankle, pull your leg behind you, hold on to a family member for support. Get a nice stretch on the front of your leg. And switch. Awesome, now let's do a nice deep lunge. Let's start with our right leg in front. Stretch out our back left leg here. And switch. And last but not least, let's do a couple stretches down on the floor here. Put our feet together for a nice butterfly stretch. You can flap your wings if you'd like to. Think about some places you'd like to fly to. And let's spin it around for a good seal stretch. This one's my favorite. And let's see how many times we can clap. That's one. Can we do two? <laughs> how about three? Touchy feet. Oh, not oh. quite, not quite. Still working on three. All right, back up. And let's do a quick side lunge. Inside, 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 inside. All right, nice job, jump stars. Let's get jumping. Hi, jump stars. It's summer here. I'm here with my best friend and sister, Savannah. Hi. And we're here to lead you through a warm up pyramid. So what you're gonna do is jump on one foot, one at a time. We're gonna alternate feet and we're going to jump a little more on each foot with each round. So we're gonna start off with one jump on each foot and then we're gonna do two jumps on one foot followed by two jumps on the other foot and then three jumps on one foot followed by three jumps on the other foot. We're gonna go all the way up to five and back down. Don't worry if you're a little bit confused, you'll catch on once we start jumping. Ready, set, go. One, uno, one, two, uno, dos, one, two, three, uno, dos, tres, one, two, three, four, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, one, two, three, four, five, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, one, two, three, four, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, one, two, three, uno, dos, tres, one, two, uno, dos, one, uno. Hi, LJ. Thanks so much for joining us today. We're going to do a deck workout. And uh, however many is on the card, that's how many jumps you're going to do. So some cards have special elements. Like if it's a, if it's a club, we're going to do it backwards. But I'll tell you as we go. So All right. we have 15 cards. Woo. First one, five of clubs. So it's backwards. Perfect. All right, the next one. It's a joker. So the next card is going to be doubled. Oh my goodness. And the kids are going to be doing these jumps along with you. And, you know, jumpers, just remember, if you don't have a jump rope, that's fine. You can do these jumps without one. So this next one's going to be doubled. Oh, good. It's only a three. So three, uh, so six forward jumps. Perfect. Two, only two jumps. A queen. Uh-oh. So it's going to be 20 jumps. 20 jumps. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, the next one. Ten. 
10 jumps. Nine, nine jumps. Good job. Sorry, trying to give you a little more time to breathe here. All right, ready? Good. We got this, guys. A six, six jumps. An eight. You're going to do eight jumps next. Okay. Whew. Breathe. Good job. Three, but clubs, so it's backwards. Great. Another club, six, six backwards jumps. Woo. I like those backwards ones. An ace. So we're gonna do 20, 20 jumps. Oh, okay. Nice. A jack, another face card, another 20. Another 20, okay. <laughs> We got this, guys. Two backwards. And then you only have one card left after this. Let's see what this last one is. Three, three jumps. Three. Awesome. Now, before we let you go, LJ, can you show us a couple tricks, please, since you're one of the most incredible jump ropers around? Oh my goodness, I did not think you were gonna do a backflip. Wow, great job, thank you so much for joining us for the wow. Double Cards Workout. We'll see you later. Hey guys, we're gonna go over a few elements that are required for competition and performance single rope routines. Uh, so we're gonna start with the beginning and ending pose and work our way into rope releases. So what I want you to do is grab your rope. I'm gonna demonstrate a few for you guys. Uh, some basic ones are just putting your foot out like this and catching your rope. This is a good beginning or ending pose and making sure to smile. Another one is with both feet. So catch the rope under both feet like this. A more advanced one would be crossing your arms under, under, and out, starting like this. And then the last one I'm gonna get, show you guys is the bow and arrow. You're gonna start with putting your handles together, hands connecting, out like this, and like that. All right, so I'm gonna give you guys a few seconds to practice those. Uh, I'm gonna follow along with you guys. So just practicing a few of them. And maybe just practice one. All right, now we're gonna move into rope wraps. So rope wrap is when you wrap the rope around your body. So you can do a basic one by just swinging your arm all the way around and swinging it out. And maybe try switching arms. Nice. Or you can bring it underneath your leg. So you bring one leg up, wrap around your body, and back. So try that out for a few seconds. All right, and the last thing we're gonna work on are rope releases. So we are going to actually drop the rope out in front of us, just like this. Pretend like you're shaking someone's hand. You're gonna flick the rope up and grab the handle. Try that a couple times. And now maybe add a jump to it. So flick, grab, add a jump. All right, now we're gonna try putting it behind us. Bringing it forward and up. Still grab the rope. Try that a couple times. Forward, up, grab, and then add a jump to it. So make sure the rope is completely straight. Forward, up, grab, add a jump. Good job. Uh, a more advanced one would be starting with the rope in front of you. Bringing your arm around, releasing it, twirl, and grab. So again, your arms start in front. Once your hand reaches the back, you're gonna release, twirl, grab, and you can have a few jumps. All right, those are a few elements for the single rope competition and performance routines.
All right, guys, now we're gonna move on to the next element, which is crossing. So if you don't know how to cross, that's totally fine. I want you just to spend this time working on one cross, maybe two crosses, that's okay. Um, but for everyone else, go ahead and try to follow along. We're gonna start with just doing our crosses out and in, out and in. So cross, out, cross, out, cross, out. If that's too easy, I want you to try to hold a cross. Holding a cross just like this. For more advanced competition and performance single rope routines, uh, you they require you to have five crossing, five cross, five crossing combination tricks in a row. So uh, some tricks that you could do would be single side swing cross. Oops, let's try that again. Alternating. You can try a toe. You can cross backward. And that concludes our crossing combination tricks. All right, guys, the next element we are going to work on are double unders. If you don't know how to do a double under, again, that's totally fine. Try to work on getting one. And then if you get one, try to get two, et cetera. All right, so we're gonna go over how to do a double, double under again. You're gonna bring your arms out, jump as high as you can, spin as fast as you can. If you're a beginner, you can start with a few jumps. So jumping one, two, three, double under, one, two, three, double under. If you can do that, I want you to try to get two double enders in a row. So just like this, again, you can start off with three bounces. One, two, three. So that, that way I did two double enders. I'm gonna work my way up so then you can go all the way up to 10 and more if you want to. I'll demonstrate that. And you can go on forever. But some more advanced double under tricks that you can do are crossing double unders. So what you're gonna do is one rotation is gonna go under, the second rotation, you're gonna cross your arms. So jump cross, oh, let's try that again. Jump cross. Uh, some other things you can try out are single side swing double unders, going to the side and then maybe double unders. Um, and that concludes our double under tricks. <laughs> All right, guys, the next element we are going to work on are backwards tricks. Any, anything you can do forward, you can try backwards. So let's try, it with some, let's try it with some basic tricks. Just jumping backwards, side straddles, skier, fell. You can even try crosses or side swings. or sides and cross. Any trick that you can do forward, you can do backwards. And that concludes our backwards single rope routine tricks. All right, guys, the last element that we're going to practice is inversions. An inversion is when you move your center of gravity. So I'm going to demonstrate a few beginner things that you can try. Um, the first one is a push-up. Anyone can do this. You're just going to bring your body down to the ground, out, and jump. So just a, a basic push up. Down, out, together, jump. If you want to get fancy, when you go down for the push up, you can bring your legs out and in just like this. Down, out, bring your legs out, together, jump, and jump. I'm going to move on to some more advanced tricks. Um, but these are only for people that already know how to do handstands, cartwheels. We want to make sure that you guys are being safe. So don't try this if you haven't done it before, but if you have, go ahead and follow along with me. For a handstand, you're just going to bring the rope in front of you, handstand together, and jump. So try that again. The next one we're gonna practice is a cartwheel. Again, don't try this if you haven't before, um, but if you have, you're just gonna move to the side, do a cartwheel, and jump. I'll do it this way, just in case you guys can't see me. Again, cartwheel. And jump. For my advanced jumpers, you guys can try something that is called a frog. So instead of bringing your feet together, down to the ground, and then jumping, you're going to flick the jump rope underneath your feet, just like this. And jump. And that completes our versions for our single repetitions.
All right, guys, the next element we are going to work on are backwards tricks. Any, anything you can do forward, you can try backwards. So let's try, it with some, let's try it with some basic tricks. Just jumping backwards, side straddles, skier, bell. You can even try crosses or side swings. or side swing cross. Any trick that you can do forward, you can do backwards. And that concludes our backwards single rep routine tricks. All right guys, so what we wanna do for our competition and performance single rep routines is combine all the elements that we just practiced. So what did we do? We did um, backwards tricks, inversions, beginning and ending poses, rope releases, rope wraps, double unders. If you can't do a double under, if you can't do one of those tricks, that's okay. You don't have to include it inside your routine. Uh, the most important thing that we want you guys to do is have fun. Um, but we also want you to incorporate some of the tricks that you learned uh, during this class. So starting with your beginning pose, um, doing three to five tricks. Uh, you can do anything with your rope releases, your rope wraps, um, maybe backwards side straddles, anything like that, but we're just collaborating all of those elements into one routine. Um, some important things during what we do during performances is always making sure that we're smiling, showing the judges and everyone watching that we're having fun. Um, so while you guys are coming up with those routines, we want you to keep in mind, just have fun with it. Smile, uh, have a good time. Um, we want these routines to be about 30 seconds long. For the more advanced jumpers, you can make it anywhere from 45 seconds to a minute long. Um, but again, remembering that we are just having a good time learning how to jump rope. And um, yeah, I'm really proud of you guys and I hope you guys make awesome routines. Hi Megan, thanks so much for joining us. We are going to do a short workout and it's going to be a circuit helping beginners learn how to do multiple double unders or even just one double under, but um, hopefully eventually helping them to get to where they can do 10 in a row. So the circuit is going to be uh, 30 seconds um, of different elements. We're gonna have you do it for 20 seconds, you get a rest for 10 seconds, and then we'll go on to the next element. So the first one is gonna be high jumps. Can you demonstrate that for everybody, please? Just uh, jumping as high as you can and bringing your legs up. Bring your legs up as high as you can. Good, all right, cool. The next one is gonna be arm circles. So you're gonna grab your jump rope and uh, you're gonna try to swing it like a double under. Yep. Great. And then after that, you're going to do high single bounce jumps. So you're going to do a single, you're going to jump, but you're going to jump as high as you can in a single bounce. Go ahead. Very good. Okay. And then after that, you're going to do double unders. So just trying to get double unders. If you can do them, do them in a row. Okay. It is uh, 30 second switches. Are you ready? Yep. Okay. Here we go. I've got a stopwatch. Jumpers ready? Set, go, high jumps for 20 seconds, and then you'll get a 10 second break. Awesome, Megan, keep it up. Pick your legs up as high as you can. Okay, halfway done, halfway done, keep it going. Good job. This is gonna be a great start to your day. Keep it going. Awesome, time. Okay, rest. While you're resting, pick up that jump rope because you're gonna, doing, gonna be doing those arm circles next. Woo, and go, arm circles. So you're practicing trying to get the swings. Go ahead and go. Go, go, go. 20 seconds of trying to turn double unders with your the handles of your rope. Good job. Time, okay. Get the rope ready. The next one is going to be high single bounce jumps for 20 seconds. Ready, set, go. Good, so you're jumping as high as you can on each jump. Halfway done, 10 more seconds. Keep it up, you're doing great. Five more seconds. Time, good, rest, because the next one, you're gonna be trying to do double unders for 20 seconds. If you're strong at double unders, maybe try to get 20 or 25 double unders in that time. All right, and go. 
I, I know everybody's gonna be nice and tired by this point, but that's okay. The point is, can you do them when you're tired? If you miss, you just keep going. Try to get as many as you can. Time, good, rest. Your next one is going to be, we're doing one more round of the circuit, high jumps for 20 seconds. So rope down on the ground and high jumps and go, high jumps. Awesome, Megan, I'm so proud of you. Keep it up. Just some good practice during this time. Good job, good job. Five more seconds, five more seconds. And time. Okay, now grab your rope. You're gonna be practicing the turning of the double unders with just your handles. You have five more seconds. How are you feeling? Are you good? Feeling tired. <laughs> we got this. We got this. And go, double under turning. Good job, keep it up, keep it up. You're doing great. 10 more seconds. You're amazing, keep it up. Okay, time. You're gonna be getting ready for high jumps. High jumps for 20 seconds. Two more left and then you're done. All right, and go. High jumps for 20 seconds. Keep it up. Keep it up, Megan. Go rooftop, Megan. You're almost done. Five more seconds. Great job. Time. Okay, 10 second break and your last one of trying to get double unders for 20 seconds. You can do it, Megan, you can do it. And go. Yay, Megan, come on, keep it up. 10 more seconds. Good job, five seconds left. Time, whoo, you are done. How do you feel? I feel great. Awesome, Ooh, good job. Thank you so much for doing this workout with us and we'll see you next time, bye.